Alright guys, so in this video, I will be showing you how you can optimize your Windows 10 or your Windows 11 PC for gaming. And don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to install some applications from internet because I don't really like that and I also know you probably don't even like that. So don't worry about that and yeah, let's just start the video. Alrighty, so the very first thing that you guys want to do is simply want to open up settings. So after you open up settings, you need to click on gaming and then you need to open up game mode and make sure you have enable game mode and then you open up graphics under that and then you need to click on browse and after that you can select your game so go ahead and select the game and can simply go up to your c drive select your game and simply click on add and after that right here on this list you will see the application go ahead and click on the application and click on options and then from this list make sure you select high performance and click on save after that again scroll to the top and click on change default graphic settings and go ahead and enable the hardware accelerator gpu and after that you need to open up system and then you need to look for notifications and then make sure to disable the notification because actually you don't need them and after you've done that you need to again go up to system all right so after you're here you need to scroll down to the very bottom and you click on about and after that you can click on advanced system settings so after this little window opened up you simply want to click on settings right here and then you need to select adjust for best performance after that this all these options should go and tick so do not untick all these options you will need some things like the smooth edges and also you will need show thumbnails just simply go through all of the settings and if you have some things that you want to take go ahead and take those options and untick the options that you don't like after that click on apply and click on ok alright so as the next step you click on your search and you search for choose a power plan and then go ahead and open that up and then you need to select high performance on this thing so if you did not see high performance right here go ahead and click on create a power plan and select high performance and name your plan and click on next after that you click on change plan settings and you click on change advanced power settings and after this window opened up you simply want to open up the processor power management and then as the minimum process state you need to make sure that is that this one is set to zero so go ahead and select this make it zero and if you have a pc it should be only one option but you have a laptop go ahead and change both of these values to zero and then you need to open up maximum process state and make sure that this is set to 100 and simply click on apply and click on ok all right so as the next step you need to press windows and r on your keyboard and you type as ms config after that go ahead and click ok and this little window should open up and then you open up boot and then you click on advanced options and you need to take this option and you need to change this to the maximum being 16 so this is pretty much number of processors you have in your cpu so if you want to check how much of processors you have simply go ahead and open up your task manager by clicking Control shift plus escape and go back go ahead and open up performance and select cpu and right here you will see how much of processors you have in your cpu go ahead and select that number on this list it means 16 for my case so go ahead and select the maximum you can choose and click on ok and after that you can change the uh, timeout to 10 seconds just like that which will uh, like optimize your ssd if you have a hard drive it should work like ssd after you change this and then you need to open up services and from these services you can obviously untick the ones that you want to stop so like don't want to run so in this case i don't want this and you can simply go through all of these settings like go through all of these options and go ahead and untick the ones that you want to uh stop after that click on applies and then go ahead and click on startup and click on open task manager which will open up your task manager and after that you can simply uh, disable all these startup programs which, which you don't need like the xbox xbox app services and google chrome like other things so just disable all these applications that you don't want to have after that you can just close these windows and after that you click on your windows icon and you search for registry edit and right click on that and click on run as administrator click on yes so after you open up registry editor you need to go to this location which i will provide the location down in the description and go ahead and go to this location and then before you actually change any of these in the registry editor i would recommend you guys to click on file and click on export and go ahead and save these things 
to your desktop or to your equipment folder but if something goes wrong you can obviously change back to the settings you have before so go ahead and name anything you like so i'm just gonna make it rename this to old and click on save so the older settings will be saved on the location which you have given and after you are in this location you simply wanna double click on game dvr enabled so just double click on that and as the value data you type zero and make sure you have chose hexa hexadecimal and click ok and go ahead and double click on the other file which is called game dvr underscore fse behavior mode go ahead and double click on that and go ahead and change the value data to two and click ok and after that you need to go to the other location which i will provide the uh, location down in the description go ahead and go to this location right here and after that you double click on the value uh, file and then to make it zero and you know click on ok and after that you can close this window and yeah that's how you can simply uh, optimize your windows 10 and your windows 11 for gaming also another thing that you guys can do is open up your file explorer and open up to this pc and see if you like if you're running out of storage or something like that because i have already made a tutorial on how you can clean up your temporary files so go ahead and watch that video and go ahead and clean up your c drive because like if you're running out of storage in your c drive uh, you can clean up your c drive and you can run your game pretty smoothly so yeah guys that's it for today's video if you found this video helpful go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel and i will catch you guys on my next video peace